We say thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you for April. Thank you for May. Thank you for June. Thank you for July. Thank you for August. Thank you for September. Thank you for October. Thank you for November. I set our thanks in the name of Jesus. Right from January, you have been so good. You demonstrate yourself that you are greater than the greatest. You are the stronger than the strongest. You are the holier than the holiest. You are powerful. You are uncontestable God. You are reliable God. You are dependable God. All power belongs to you. All power belongs to you. Once you have spoken, to us have a heart that power belongs to you it's because of your power that we go out every day and we came back safe. It is by your power that we can go to bed and wake up in the morning. It is by your power that we go to our business and we turn back. Father, if only you can open our eyes to see if only you can open our eyes to see the plan of the devil concerning us will have been frightened to death. But you are there for us. This money, O Lord, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the choir. Thank you for the testimony. Thank you because I can see the open, the heaven is already open. As praises continue, as praises continue, that you promise that the glory shall return to you alone. Accept it all in Jesus' name. Thank you, my Father, my God. Lord, I am empty. I, I, I don't want people to see me. But let them see you. Let them hear from you. Father, Baba, do that in the name of Jesus. At the end of this service, let you, let you see. Father, Baba, let us have God to continue to glorify you. Thank you, our Father, our God. Bless you, your holy name. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And the church say better, amen. Put your hand together for Jesus. Thank you for clapping for me. Let us clap for Jesus. I think you can do better than that. Amen. I was telling mommy that uh, as far as concerned, our mama has given all the the message already. <laughs> so let us celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, in the love of our Mama. Amen. Amen. Praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 50, verse 14 and 15. Only David, only our daughter, as I can relax, he can do good. Psalm chapter 50, verse 14 and 15. Only David, as I can relax, he can do good. 
Offer unto God thanksgiving and play in their vows and pay their vows unto the Most High. And call upon me in the day of trouble I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Why are we here this morning? Without any reasonable doubt. The Lord has been so good for us. He has never failed to be faithful and kind. If he has not been the law on our side, the devil will have destroyed us for long. You and I. We are who we are in Christ today because of the goodness of God. Praise the Lord somebody. For this reason, Amor, we need to make Thanksgiving our lifestyle. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, make Thanksgiving your lifestyle. Why? Because Thanksgiving is an indispensable activity for every child of God. For our life to experience the blessing of the Lord on continuous basis, we need to do what? We need to thank God. Tell your neighbor you need to thank God. I can hear you. You need to thank God. I sometimes marvel when I see people complain about their situation. Before complaining about your situation, I invite you to take a critical look of your life and another man's life. Because there's a song that says, Sit down. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. And you will be surprised to see what God has done for you. Before somebody leaves here, God will give you a new song. God will give you a new testimony. In the name of Jesus. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Brethren. A life thanksgiving, a lifetime of thanksgiving can make a lot of difference in our life within a short period. Within a short time. So I want to give us you know, some facts about the benefits when we adore and reference the Almighty God. When you acknowledge Him as the source of your life, the source of your wealth, the source of your greatness, and see all you have achieved has been made possible by His hand, then you will never cease to thank. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was telling the workers this morning. It's a pity that the mommy could not sing that song to for us. Hallelujah. Who can tell me? The right time hour you went to bed yesterday. Agreed. You went to bed. What time do you sleep? Who can tell me? Okay. Who can tell me the right time you wake up? Who? Hello, ma. Is somebody there? Ah, I thought somebody is there so that I can deliver him. Praising the Lord. Hallelujah. There's a song, see? When I wake up, I try to open my eyes. It is open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I try to stand up. 
I was able to stand. I want to move on. I was able to move. I want to say thank you, Jesus. And that voice clearly came out of my mouth. I, I remember today is Sunday. What do I do? I need to bow. I went to the bathroom. It was possible. Many people went out yesterday. Some of them end up at on no destination. Some of them end up at the police station. While some way, I mean, end up at the hospital. Um, some other people at the mortuary. For you and I. You and I. Look at your neighbor. You and I. You are I. We are in the hearts of the Lord. What a joy. I want to hear somebody shout hallelujah. Number one. When you praise God, Lord's glory is restored. As we as it was the case of the king Nebuchadnezzar. Daniel chapter 4, 34 to 37. When he praised God, when he remembered that I was created by the Most High God, and when he praised Him, His lost glory was returned. I want to decree into somebody love this morning. Because you will praise your God this morning. Your lost glory shall return. Monique and Shamidada. Amen. Will I speak French to you before you understand? Because you will praise the Lord this morning. All your glory that you have lost shall return back to you. Number two. God will be committed to preserving all he has given you. When you praise him. Genesis chapter 4, chapter 45 verse 7. Genesis chapter 45 verse 7. And God sent me before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth. And to save your life by a great deliverance. Because you praise God this morning, all the plan of the enemy to terminate your life shall fail. In the name of Jesus. When you listen to the testimony of one of our sisters, the person that God sent to deliver her had a dream. And at the end of the day, he became the victim. What a great God we serve. I pray for somebody. The Spirit of the Lord will renew your spirit. You will see what other people cannot see. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. When you praise God, God will open doors that usher you into His blessing. According to Revelation chapter 3, verse 8. Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. He said, I know that works. Behold, I have said before thee an open door. And no man can shut it. But thou has a little strength. And has kept my word. And has not denied my name. I pray for somebody this morning that God will grace you to stay to serve him till he come in the name of Jesus. Because you say amen, you will not miss your reward. I say you will not miss your reward. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Number four. Number four. When you praise God, God will renew his strength. 
I mean his greatness goodness a wonderful call I mean works to the children of men according to Thessalonians chapter 2 hallelujah hallelujah he said, wherefore, our God will count you worthy to, his, to this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the good work of faith with power. That should be somebody's portion this morning. Uh, the person is not here. That shall be your portion this morning. In the name of Jesus. Number five. God will become your great provider. And burn out from begging and borrowing. If you praise God. He will become your great provider. He's is a great provider. He's a great provider. He's a great provider. He's a great provider. He will surely provide for me and provide for you. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. I pray for somebody. And the desire of your heart. Because you are here this morning to praise Him. He will provide. He will provide in the name of Jesus. And you will testify in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Number six. If you praise God, you can walk with your shoulder high. Has become your defense and deliver in time of trouble. Psalm 91 verse 15. He declared that he shall come in a time of trouble. And I will be with him. And I will deliver him. And I will show him my what? That shall be your portion. The Lord will deliver you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Number seven. God will become your rock and source of strength in every situation. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. It says that I'm beat on drink the same spiritual drink for the drunk of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number eight. Number eight. When you praise God, God will bless you with unprecedented miracle. And somebody is leaving this place this morning without unprecedented miracle in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, say amen and amen. According to Hebrews chapter 2, for verse 4. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When can your thanksgiving be acceptable? When? Number one. When it is not done in a hurry. But from a heart of worship and praise. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 25. 1 Corinthians 14 25. Because of our time I will not read. Number two. When can your thanksgiving be acceptable? When it is done in the spirit, in holiness, and in truth. According to John chapter 4, verse 23 to 24. Four. John 4, 23 to 24. Number three. Number three. When you are able to lift up clean hands and pure heart to our God. In hand without no sin. Without no sin. 
what you see, she. A pure heart attracts God attention. I pray for somebody this morning as you begin to praise God. Your hand toward his heaven will attract his attention to you in the name of Jesus. You will not leave this place empty handed in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Number four. When we are honest and upright in character and reflect the nature of God, when we are honest and upright in character and reflect the nature of God, our thanksgiving will be accepted. According to Luke chapter 8 verse 15. Hallelujah. May I conclude? Brethren, Keep your heart pure so that your joy can be filled. With a pure heart, you can make your request known to God. And there will be instant response from the throne of grace. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we stand up? Are you ready to praise God this morning? Ask your neighbor, are you ready to praise God this morning? When you praise God, all the testimony shall be yours. Hallelujah. Is somebody ready to praise God this morning? Hallelujah. I'm going to give you three minutes to sing in your own dialect, to worship God, to praise God. The heaven is open already. And all this thing has promised us will be released to you. Shall we go ahead? Shall we go ahead? Praise the Almighty God. Worship Him. He's worth it. He's worth it of our praise. Worship Him. Worship Him. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's your Creator. He's your Messiah. Oh, the giver of salvation. Without Him, you are nothing. Open your mouth. Register your voice unto him. In praises. In worshiping. He has created you. He has given you salvation. He has selected you. He has called you to worship him. To praise him. To praise him. To serve him. Worship the King of Kings. of your worship. Can you hear the sound of your praises unto him? He's worthy of our praise. The giver of life. The only one that has the power to kill and to make her life. The only one that can take you to the meeting of your enemy. And open your eye to see them. Worship that King of Kings. Worship him, the Lord of Lords. in the splendor of your majesty, deep within my spirit, sing glory. in the splendor of your majesty, deep within my spirit, sing Oh, 
thank you, King of Kings. The heaven is open. The heaven is open. Register your voice. Praise. The angels are coming down. Because your voice is registered. Worship him. Worship him. Glorify him this morning. This is our thanksgiving. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. Amen. On Thanksgiving Day, there's no point of prayer. We are only here to praise Him. I have prayed for somebody this morning because your voice of praises has been registered in heaven. The Lord God Almighty will bless you with the riches of His grace. Because he say amen, the Lord will bless you with the treasure of his love in the name of Jesus. Because he say amen, the Lord will bless you with the comfort of his mercy in the name of Jesus. Oh, because you say amen louder than your, than your neighbor. The Lord God Almighty will bless you with the touch of His grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. All your glory shall be restored because you praise Him. God is committed to, to preserve your life. I will see you in year 2018. You will not die. You will live and declare the gospel in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of God the Father. So shall it be in the name of God the Son. So shall it be in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. I say, if you believe that, shout hallelujah. That is not Redeemer, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe that all your lost glory shall be returned, if you believe that God will open door and usher you into His marvelous blessing, make sure that your hallelujah swallow your neighbor hallelujah. If you are the one, shout hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen to what I'm hearing. There, there's somebody here. By the time this week you meet your enemy, the enemy will be asking you, what is that thing that's happening in your church? Particularly this Sunday. That's what your enemy will be telling you. In the name of Jesus, they will see you, they will run away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hand together for Jesus. Thank you for thank you for clapping for me. I do not